Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I am super, super excited because I checked my mail and I had a package that I was not expecting at all, and I was so thrilled to see this in my mailbox, and I'm gonna be filming an unboxing for you guys today, and that is an unboxing for the May Owl Crate box. Now back in April, I did an unboxing for the April Owl Crate box, which Owl Crate was so kind to send to me to do an unboxing on my channel, and this month they sent me the May box as well, and I'm so excited to do this unboxing for you guys because this month's theme is steampunk, and I have recently become kind of obsessed with the whole steampunk genre, and I really want to get into it and I want to know more about it. So this box is perfect and I cannot wait to open it. And I will leave links to all of Alcrate's information down in the description box in case you're interested in checking them out. So without any further ado, because I am dying to find out what steampunk things are inside of here, let's get into the unboxing. So the first thing that is in here is the little card that tells you everything that's inside here. I'm not looking at the other side. I don't want to be spoiled. Moving the confetti out of the way. Okay, so the first thing that I'm seeing in here is this like clockwork key that, oh, it's actually like a brooch or a pin or something. You can see on the back, it has like a little clip. This is so cute. I'm gonna put this next to my Infernal Devices books because it just goes with that aesthetic. These are so cool. Oh my God, okay, so. These are steampunk like nail art things, like press on nails. That's awesome. They have like little clockwork like gears. I have no idea how well these things are gonna work. I am not really a nail art person. I paint my nails occasionally, but I'm not really one to go for stickers or anything like that. But these look really cool, so hopefully they also work out pretty well. Okay, the next thing that I'm seeing in here is in this little box that says Sparks Emporium. So let's open this up. Oh my god, this is so cute! Okay, so inside the little box was this ring and it is just kind of like a brassy color and then inside right here it has a clockwork angel which I am obsessed with. If you know me at all, you know I love the infernal devices. I love this. Let's see if it fits on my finger. It does. That's perfect. It's also adjustable, so if it doesn't fit your finger, you can definitely change it, or if you want to put it on different fingers and things, which is great. This is just super, super cute. I love fandom jewelry. I love the infernal devices, so it's the perfect combination. Okay, so the next thing I am seeing in here is this little brown bag that says Crystal Compass, and it has something inside of it, so let's open this up. Oh no. I'm tearing it. I don't want to tear it. Okay, so it's this little brass key necklace, which is really cute. I love this a lot. I love key shaped jewelry. I actually have like two other necklaces that are in the shape of a key and it's very steampunky, so very fitting with this month's theme. I love this, great addition. So the next thing that I'm seeing in here is this little Peter Pan poster, which is so, so cute. It has the little Peter Pan cap at the top and then it says, Barry, the author's name, 1860 to 1937. I actually have a friend who adores Peter Pan and I think I might give this to her because I think she'd really enjoy it. And finally, the book in the May Owl Crate box is Everland by Wendy Spinelli. I'm gonna get to the book in a second, but there's actually some other stuff in here. So there's this little handwritten note by the author. I don't actually think it's handwritten. I'm pretty sure it's just photocopied onto here, but this is really cool. I'm gonna read this once I read the book. And the other thing that was in here were these metallic tattoos, which are super cool. There are some like gears and like steampunky things on here, some wings, and then just some like armbands. These are really fun. I've never had the opportunity to use any of them before, but I've always wanted to. So I will definitely be trying these out at some point because they look super cool. Maybe I'll do some like whole steampunk costume type of thing with like the necklace and the brooch and the nails and like the body tattoos. Who knows? And finally the book Everland. The cover is super super soft and buttery. It has really pretty deckled edges and then the inside the end pages are like this really thick like textured paper. I don't even know how to describe it but this is just a very well-made book. The cover of this says the only way to grow up is to survive and the title is Everland. So I'm thinking that this is probably a steampunk retelling of Peter Pan and that just sounds so awesome. So I just read the synopsis and that is pretty much exactly what this book is. It is a steampunk retelling of Peter Pan that takes place in London and I am so excited to read this book. I hadn't heard a thing about this book. I had never seen it before. I knew nothing about it. 
And now I just really, really want to read it because it sounds so, so awesome and something that I would definitely really enjoy. All right, guys, so that is it for everything that was in the May Owl Crate box. Thank you so, so much to Owl Crate for sending me this month's box. I absolutely adored everything that was in here. I thought all of it was just fabulous. I loved the jewelry, I loved the book, and I can't wait to start reading it. So let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was in this month's Owl Crate box. Also, if you guys would like to see a whole video on the steampunk genre in general, let me know that down below as well because I am, like I said before, kind of getting into the genre. I don't really know too much about it, but I really do want to explore it, and I kind of want to make a whole video on it once I read a few more books in the genre and see what I think of it and how I would define it and all of that. So if you guys would like to see that type of video, please let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.